Uh, hi, my name's Luke. I'm back with another harmonica tutorial, and this time I want to talk about third position in the bottom octave. Uh, a few videos ago, uh, uh, we did the middle octave uh, blue scale, third position. That's one thing I really love about third position, by the way, uh, is that we have three full octaves of pentatonic scale, which we do not have in cross harp by any... We have one solid octave, one and a half octaves. There's kind of a few notes up top, but there's a whole part in the middle that's no good. Same with first position. There's that whole middle octave where we don't have any of the blue notes. Uh, but that's one of the things I love about third position is we do have three full octaves of minor pentatonic scale. Um, so I am just be becoming more and more a fan of third position. I really advocate learning it even if you don't expect to play a lot of songs in third position. It will help you with your second position playing a lot as well in giving you different melodic colors and ideas. So, uh, anyways, the point right now is we want to teach this uh, minor pentatonic scale or the blues scale in the bottom octave, third position. So I have a C harmonica here. We are in the key of D um, because we are starting on the one draw, which is D. Uh, if you are familiar with modes already, this is we're kind of basing uh, out of the Dorian mode or uh, kind of like playing D to D on the white keys of the piano. Okay, so... One draw is our first note. Second note is two draw bent down a whole step, which is the minor third of the scale. So we have, okay. And then for the third note of the scale, which is the perfect fourth, we can either do the two draw released or the three blow, right? Because of the same note there. So we can either play it with the two draw released like this, Okay, that was releasing it, or I can choose to blow on the third. So it's good to practice it both ways. Uh, the next note, um, for just the strict, let's start with just the regular pentatonic scale. I'm not going to put the tritone in there. That is the one of the blue notes there. We're just going to go to the next one, which is a three draw, bent down a whole step. Here's our good three draw, bent down a whole step. Our good friend, right? Oh. See, I'm bent down. Here's released. A half step. And then a whole step. Another great reason to work on third position. This will help you with your three draw being bent down a whole step, which is probably one of the hardest notes to have be in tune on the harmonica. So, and that note that we're playing there is our perfect fifth. Uh, and then the next note of the pentatonic scale is the minor seventh, which is the four blow. So the scale thus far sounds like this. Oops. And then of course the four draw gets us up to our octave again. Okay, so let's play it together, ascending and then descending, nice and slow. Two, three, four. Now descending. And you're probably, you probably can hear when I'm playing that three draw bent down a whole step, which is the perfect fifth uh, in the scale. I'm not holding it perfectly. It's kind of wavering a little bit. So again, that's something that I you know, need more practice and more work on really to, to master that. Okay, now if we want to um, add the passing tone between the fourth and the fifth, which is the tritone, which is sort of that one of those blue notes, um, then how we're going to achieve that is not just having the three draw bent down only a whole step. We're going to bend it down a whole step and a half to get to that tritone. Okay, so if we start on the three blow, then we have three draw bent down a whole, you know, a step and a half. And then we bring it up a half step. And then four blow. Again, from the three, three blow. Um, three draw a step and a half. 
got to make that big motion at the back of the mouth to pull that pitch all the way down and then release it only a half step to the fifth and then the four blow and the four draw okay and then we have the blues then we have the the full blues scale just like you know we're used to playing uh, in second position so let's play that now together nice and slow Coming back down. Okay, so once you have that mastered, then any uh, lick that you can play in cross harp, again, now you wanna translate that lick into third position. So for example, the quintessential blues lick in cross harp. Right, now I do that in third position, it becomes So I do, uh, I think that I do a lot of this sort of thing uh, when I'm, because it's so hard for me to hold that, that five, uh, the three draw bent down a whole step, uh, well, I think I do a lot of um, pulling on the tritone when I'm in this uh, position. That's three blow, three draw bent down all the way, three blow, two draw bent down a whole step, one. You know. Okay, so um, some of those licks that I was just doing there, uh, I was using the one blow as well. That's the minor seventh below the root. So one drop. We have the lowest note is actually a whole step below that, the minor seventh, okay? Which is the same note as the four blow. Well, I hope that's helpful in, in showing you the bottom octave uh, blues scale or minor pentatonic scale, however you want to think about it, in third position. And uh, if you practice that, that'll get, your, that'll get you going on being able to um, play the blues in third position. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing and uh, for your comments. And uh, I appreciate you very much.